beginning of my European basketball career didn't start off so well. Let's just say I had to endure a couple wrong teams before I finally experienced success. My first season in Italy, I was unfortunate enough to have a head coach who didn't speak any English. Combine that with living in a foreign country and adjusting to a different basketball culture, in result, I experienced a lot of ups and downs. My second season in Italy didn't get any better. While my next coach, who was capable of speaking English, his inability to adjust to the players he had, instead of wanting the players to adjust to his system, eventually led our team to losing a lot. And so, changes had to be made, and I was cut with two months left in the season. Even if I wasn't the problem, somebody had to be the scapegoat. Instead of going back to America and calling it early summer, my Italian agent convinced me to play the last nine games for the last place team in Italy's second division. The team was also in danger of being relegated to the third division if they were to finish in last place. So my only job was to prevent this from happening. In a heroic fashion, I led the team to an 8-1 record and thus saving them from going down. I was anticipating teams in the first division, now seeing what I was capable of doing if given the proper chance, will finally appreciate my importance to the team and offer me a contract. But I was wrong. And so, I received an offer to play in Pistoia, who was another team in Italy's second division. I would reluctantly accept their offer and play in a weaker league, but this time with an even bigger chip on my shoulder. Surprisingly, my time spent in Pistoia would be amazing. For one, I finally had a coach who actually let me play to my strengths and trust me to lead the team. Secondly, the fans and home corporate atmosphere was one of the best in all of Italy, which made playing there really fun. This will be the first time overseas that I will enjoy the game of basketball again. By season's end, we were one of the top teams in the regular season and even managed to reach the finals, where we would eventually lose to Brindisi. Now, here I am, four years later, playing against my former team that helped resurrect my career in Italy. Only thing is, now they're in the first division and sitting atop tie for first place in our league. Even though I'll be playing against my former team, it will also be a reunion for a couple of my American teammates. Peyton Siva, who's back from injury, will be playing against Wayne Blackshear and Preston Knowles, both who we played for two seasons each at Louisville. While my other teammate, Dario Hunt, will be playing against his former Nevada Reno teammate, Oleg Shex. I also played with Oleg during my first season in Rome. It just goes to show, the longer you play, the more intervened you become in the basketball world with players older and younger than you. While it would be nice to see familiar faces and play on the court where I once made so many great memories, returning to a place where you once played can bring mixed feelings that could distract you from leaving with a win if you're not careful. Hopefully, that will not be the case for me, because if we can get this win tonight, it will bring our winning streak to three games and also places in the top five standings in our league.
Here's your chance to get involved with the next episode of Overseas Grind, Overseas Glory. Message me your questions or suggestions to OG OG fan page, and I will choose a couple questions and try to incorporate them into my next video. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bobby Ray Jones Jr. Keep in mind, each episode is only going to get better and better. I'm still trying to get the hang of this thing. I also want to give a special shout out to my mom, dad, sister, brother, nieces, nephews, uncle, auntie, and grandmother. I love you and I miss you all. To all my friends all over the world, and of course, last but not least, to my daughter, Leah. Daddy loves you, stinky feet. And remember, you can't cheat the grind. It knows how much you invested. It won't give you anything you haven't worked for. Until next time. Just live it in a dream.